I'm Matt Doughty. I am a public motivational speaker, a fireman, and a product of the foster care system. What I'm passionate about is helping the foster care community and first responders struggling with PTSD. You know, I really don't remember much before the age of five, but from five on, there were some events that took place with my birth mom at age five that took me from her and I ended up living with my dad for several years. The feelings and the bitterness and the hate in the family that caught up with me when I turned 14. I ended up in juvenile placements and foster care and running from foster homes and doing things with the wrong people. I was a follower, not a leader, and that eventually landed me in jail and prison. Um, <clears throat> I made a lot of bad decisions. I made a lot of bad choices. Um, nobody to blame but myself. And nowadays I can look back on that and I have a lot of lessons that I've learned from such a crappy childhood. The single most important thing in my life that changed my life forever was the fact that I didn't show up to the funeral of the single most important person in my life at the time, my grandma Pat. Her handwritten wishes were that I was to be her front right pallbearer. And because I was too busy suppressing feelings and pain with drugs and alcohol, I didn't show up to the funeral for reasons that are beyond my comprehension. The woman was my mother growing up. She cared for me, brought me to sporting events, helped me with money, helped me with summer stuff to keep me busy, took me to my friends' houses. Um, just an inspirational lady, very faith-driven, spent hours of hours of her time with me. Um, canceled time with her friends to care for me in her last days I was too busy worrying about me to give her the respect that she deserved and um, I'll carry that with me all the days of my life I knew after the passing of my grandma something needed to change I was a little apprehensive as when I got out of prison I couldn't find a decent job. I couldn't find a decent place to live. I, I didn't have credit. And a lot of my friends were in darker places. It was easy for me to fall back into that place than it was to get a job, pay bills, pay rent, uh, get a car, pay car insurance, and all on a McDonald's salary. My road to recovery took a decade. It took me a couple years at a time every day, picking myself up by the bootstraps, working two jobs. I rode a bicycle to Arby's, and then from Arby's, I went to an outdoor rink and was a rink attendant. Uh, I had family members and friends who were willing to help me pay off debts and pay off bills, but only if I was willing to and showed the effort in helping myself. I slowly walked out of this in over 10 years by seeing therapists and counselors and being diagnosed with PTSD and, and, and starting to get a grasp on who I am as a person, finding my way in life, who am I and who do I want to be and letting my past go and realizing that it's not all about me and what happened to me as much as it's about how can I take this bad and turn it into something good. Over 10 years, I was able to face all the people that I had harmed and wronged and admit to them face to face that, you know what, what I did was extremely wrong. I'm sorry for that. And I will prove to you in my actions that that's no longer the person I aspire to be. Through my faith, I have been able to been a part of men's groups and Bible studies and have met really awesome people who have helped me grow in my faith. Today, when I look back on the grind, if I had anything to change, I don't know that there's anything I would change because taking that time to piece my life back together has also now given me the ability to turn my story 
into something empowering for other people. That's where my, my love comes for the foster care community. And I reason and understand and work with firefighters and first responders with PTSD because we share in this together. And it's my dream and my passion to reach out to these people and, and help them through my story. So the fire department for me is a big piece of uh, my life. I, I love being on the fire department, working with my brothers and sisters. And I think a big part of why I went into the fire service was to be able to give back to my community. And I love to help people. Um, when it comes to the post-traumatic stress disorder, I can relate with the firefighters and first responders that struggle with this. As I dealt with my battle 20 years earlier in my childhood, and through the grind years, I was able to figure out who I was, what was affecting me, why was it affecting me, how can I overcome this, and not let this plague my future. And so with that, um, I really like to reach out to the first responders and help with the PTSD subject and relate with them on this and bring awareness to this disease. You know, I'm really hoping that with my story, I'm able to help those in the foster care community and first responders uh, deal with and relate to the PTSD and the struggles of life when it comes to changing life around and changing our bad habits and being forgiven for our past, the change doesn't happen overnight. It took me 10 years and my stories through hearing them, you'll learn that everything took time and nothing happened overnight. So I know that my story uh, has a lot of twists and turns and it may not be unique, but the unique part about it is that I overcame it I dug deep into who I was and figured out who I am, who I want to be. So if your organization would benefit from hearing my story, reach out to me. Shoot me an email, give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Matt Dowdy, and that's my story.